Title, Maud, A Very British Phenomenon Terry Rawlings' exploration of the Maud subculture in Maud, A Very British Phenomenon, offers a comprehensive and insightful analysis of a cultural phenomenon that emerged in the heart of post-war Britain. Through meticulous research and an engaging narrative style, Rawlings delves into the origins, evolution, and enduring influence of the Maud movement. In this literary analysis, I will discuss the key themes and ideas presented in the book, examining Rawlings' approach to storytelling and the significance of the Maud culture within the broader context of British society. Rawlings begins by tracing the historical roots of the Maud subculture, revealing its emergence in the late 1950s as a reaction to the social and political changes occurring in the United Kingdom. The Maud movement represented a rebellion against the austerity of the post-war era, as well as a response to the increasing Americanization of British popular culture. Rawlings skillfully contextualizes these factors, demonstrating how they shape the unique characteristics of the Maud identity. He highlights the movement's obsession with fashion, music, and scooters, elements that define the Maud lifestyle and set it apart from other subcultures of the time. One of the strengths of Rawlings' analysis is his emphasis on the role of music in the Maud subculture. He chronicles the evolution of Maud music, from the early fascination with American R&B and soul to the British bands that emerged within the movement. The author illustrates how music not only served as a source of identity for mods but also as a medium for rebellion and expression. The discussion of bands like The Who and The Small Faces demonstrates their pivotal role in shaping mod culture, and Rawlings effectively conveys the passion and devotion that mods had for these artists. Furthermore, Rawlings delves into the geographical and class dynamics of the mod movement, exploring the connections between mods and the working-class youth of London. He offers a vivid portrayal of the clashes between mods and their rival subcultures, such as rockers, underlining the territorial nature of these conflicts. Rawlings' detailed accounts of these rivalries provide valuable insights into the social and cultural tensions that define the mod era. The book also touches on the decline of the mod subculture in the late 1960s and its subsequent revival in the 1970s. Rawlings aptly argues that while the original mod scene faded, its spirit endured in the form of nostalgia and its influence on subsequent youth subcultures. The author's exploration of the mod revival in the punk and new wave movements underscores the enduring appeal of mod aesthetics and values. Rawlings' narrative style is engaging and well-structured, making the book accessible to readers with varying levels of familiarity with the mod subculture. He provides numerous first-hand accounts and interviews with mod pioneers, which lend authenticity to the text and offer a personal dimension to the history he is recounting. Rawlings' prose captures the enthusiasm and energy of the mod movement, allowing readers to immerse themselves in the vibrant atmosphere of the time. The significance of the mod subculture within the broader context of British society is a central theme in Rawlings' analysis. He demonstrates how mods challenge traditional notions of class, gender, and identity, offering an alternative vision of youth culture. Maud's commitment to individualism and their rejection of mainstream values served as a catalyst for cultural change. Rawlings argues that the Maud movement played a crucial role in shaping the British cultural landscape and paved the way for subsequent subcultures and countercultural movements. In conclusion, Maud, a very British phenomenon, by Terry Rawlings is a comprehensive and engaging exploration of the mod subculture's history and impact. Rawlings successfully presents the mod movement as a dynamic response to the social, political, and cultural changes in post-war Britain. He highlights the significance of music, fashion, and individualism in mod culture, while also underlining the lasting influence of the movement on subsequent generations. 
The book's well-researched content and vivid storytelling make it a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding this quintessentially British phenomenon.